how you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. Hmm. I wanted to, hopefully you liked my last painting. I really loved it. It was just, like I said, I'm, I'm in my power, baby. When I'm in my power, I shine and I can just rock and roll. And it's kind of like, if I had a studio, oh, that's a terrible thing. If I had a studio, I could probably do like three paintings a day. I mean, literally, when I was in my studio, I was literally, I would start a painting, I would, I would do some detail work on a painting, and then I would finish a painting, like, every day. I'd be like, like, it was like this machine. And it's just because I'm used to working for a living, right? I'm used to nine to five, you know, the private sector, you gotta produce, right? You can't just get tenure and just sit around and be a waste of space like politicians and, and teachers, mostly professors but anyway the one thing I want to talk about when I'm speaking about my art is the lack of support that I get from my family and it's not that I don't you know what I mean it's it is what it is and I, I this isn't to you know harp or be a victim or anything it's just it's it's fun even friends it's like <clears throat> I'll talk to them and they'll be like oh you're you know, like with my art and stuff like what are you doing oh I'm painting I'm you know I'm an artist that's what I do right Oh, you're still doing that? No. Would you say that to a doctor? Oh, you're still performing surgery? Okay. So the faith that my family have in me, you know, is staggering. I Like I said, it's like my son. I love him, and he just, he's like, he's honest about it, and I can, you know, it's like, I'm not even going to touch it, but he's like, I just, you know, he don't get it. That's what he says, which is fine, because I really didn't get it when I was a kid either. So it's not like I expect him to to worship what I do or anything. It's always nice to res people respect what you do. I mean, I don't know how many paintings you paint before you consider yourself an artist, and that that was my dilemma at first. It was, <clears throat> you know, just calling myself an artist felt kind of fake, like it was like, you know, phony, like it wasn't really. I'm not, it's like. A, pretending right it's like the you know it's pretender syndrome you know. uh, yeah and when you don't have any family members going oh, it's amazing keep up the good work you know go, go I mean my sister Deanna is like the only support I get from my family that's like even encouraging and, and excited about it plus she's got stake in the company babe that woman's gonna be taken care of when 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 Bobby Inc blows up you know what I mean <laughs> well anyway but I'm really jazzed. My paintings are coming along. I just bought five new canvas and I already got four of them covered. I'm jazzed. Like I said, when I'm when I'm protecting my energy and I'm protecting my space and I'm in my zone and I'm not being distracted by people or energies or bullshit, I can rock it. It's a beautiful thing. And if you're an artist, you know how tough that can be sometimes. And they talk about the like Jackson Pollock movie when I was watching that and his wife at the time was like, and he started getting into this flow and they moved to the cabin or whatever. And, he started really rocking and she was like oh you broke through right the barrier and yeah so it's like I broke through that barrier a long time ago and I now I control it like it's my bitch I do anyway I love you God loves you and the universe is crazy about art and I hope you like my art so far and I'm gonna I'm gonna start posting it because I've I'm selling art faster than I can and post it so people can see it which is awesome but at the same time there's like pieces of my art that nobody's ever gonna know about like Paul, the gentleman that works at the Pat Museum, behind the Pat Museum, he's the groundskeeper for the, the dry camp. He bought one of my paintings right after I painted it. It's just landscape. It was really beautiful. And he was like, I don't even like art, but I like that. So he was willing to give me some of his art and hard -earned money, so that was awesome. But anyways, and, no, and I didn't even get a chance to post it or anything. So yeah, that's what it is. You can ask him to see it if you want to, whenever you go down the Chiriaca Summit. But anyway. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful day. And again, I hope you like my art. And rock it. Okay. Bye.